knock out Mr. Melton. You mean I've knocked out Captain Mephisto. <laughs> Firing. You'd better get out of here, Captain Cristo. There's a speedboat waiting in Emerald Cove. I'll meet you there later. Keep him covered, Claire. I'm going after the others. Finish me in that wine press. Who did it? Was it Melvin? Let's find out. We'll go to the mansion house and force a showdown on this business. Suppose Melton isn't there. If he isn't, then it'll prove that we're right. Now that Reardon knows who you are, you can't return to the mansion house. What will we do? We'll have to leave this island. That's the best bet. You could hide at the sponge warehouse until we can get a boat to take us away. Right. And we'll take Professor Forrest with us. Now consider the main facts, gentlemen. Melton was prowling through the winery tunnels. He attacked me without provocation. Brand, who we know is one of Mephisto's men, came to his aid, then tried to kill me. Now Melton has disappeared. Do any of you know where he is? Well, I don't. The night isn't over yet. He may come in at any minute. Perhaps. But that won't alter the facts that make Miss Forrest and me believe that he's Captain Mephisto. Mansion house? Well, yes. Just a moment. It's for you, Miss Forrest. It sounds like Melton. Hello? Yes, Mr. Melton. I see. What's that? My father. Please repeat that. I understand. Goodbye. What did he say? Did he explain? He says he can explain everything. He's only been trying to learn who Captain Mephisto is, and he thinks he's close to finding out. Did he tell you where he is? Yes. He says that if we go there at daylight, he'll deliver my father safe and sound. Your father? I knew Melton was innocent. Say, this is wonderful. It may be wonderful, or it may be a trap. Lance, if there's hope of finding my father, I'd be willing to take any risk. I'm with you on that. If you expect treachery, we'd all better go with you. Well, where is the meeting place? I can't tell you. He says that Lance and I must come alone. There's nothing else we can say except good night and good luck. Good night. Good night. Good night. 
Good night. You're going to stay at the sponge warehouse. I was never at the warehouse. But I took you there. You took Melton. He made a complete fool of you. Fortunately, I was present when he telephoned the forest girl. Where are you taking these men? To the sponge warehouse. You said, well, Melton said we had to clear out. He was very clever. And you were unbelievably stupid. Get back to work on the transmitter. So Melton is at the Sponge Warehouse. We'll go there and pay him off for his cleverness and be ready for Reardon and the girl when they arrive. wasn't set by Melton. He expected to rescue Forrest and meet you here. Naturally, I had to dispose of that plan, and of Melton, too. You cold-blooded killer! I'm sorry, but in your case, that doesn't apply. You'll remain my prisoner. No doubt your father will obey orders more willingly when he knows you're in my hands. Take her to the boat and tie her up. I have an important question to settle with Reardon. All right, get down there. You have the blueprints of Forest Transmitter. I want them. I'll make you a deal. Your life for the blueprints. How do you plan to use the transmitter? I shall revolutionize the world's industrial setup on my own terms or destroy those who oppose me. I see. Well, you'll never get those blueprints. Think it over a minute. That isn't long when you're facing eternity. What's your final answer? No. Step aside, Brand. <laughs> 